All right. Let's look at some more examples. There's not a lot we can do with the uh, fundamental theorem of algebra, uh, but the conjugate pair theorem does have a number of exercises related to it. So I'm looking at problem 30 on page 196. And again, we're asked to come up with a polynomial which satisfies the following requirements. So one, its degree must be four. And two, the zeros of this polynomial must include the following. They must include minus i, and they must include one minus i. So again, in the instructions, they tell us this polynomial needs to have real coefficients, which is a fancy way of saying the polynomial in our answer should have no i's in sight when you have it completely factored out, or distributed, rather, when you have it completely multiplied out. So the conjugate theorem, the conjugate pair theorem applies that if minus i is a root, then its conjugate plus i must also be a root. And if 1 minus i is a root, then so must 1 plus i be a root as well. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. That's going to get us a degree 4 polynomial, which is what we want. And now we just write out the factors corresponding to each root. So I'll do x minus a minus i times x minus a plus i, or just x minus i, because plus i is just i. Then x minus parentheses 1 minus i times x minus parentheses 1 plus i. And this polynomial is good enough. This will work. Now you might say, wait a minute, you know, I see i's here, and for the, the conjugate pair theorem told us that if there are no i's in sight, well, yeah, if there are no i's in sight when everything's multiplied out, when you write it in standard form, not completely factored like this. And if you were so sadistic, or masochistic, rather, to multiply all this out, you would end up getting a fourth degree polynomial which had no i's in it whatsoever. So we are allowed to do this in this case. We can step into a similar but slightly different set of problems. Same kind of scenario, but an extra condition. This time we want a, for 34 that is, we want a polynomial whose degree is 4, whose leading coefficient is minus 3, and whose zeros include 2 plus 3i, and what was that? Yeah, 1 minus 4i. So before, you know, here our leading coefficient is just the number outside, and since there is none, it's just 1. But really, since we had no condition on a leading coefficient, we could have put any number we wanted to right here in front, and everything would still be okay. It would still be a degree 4, it would still have these zeros, it would just have a different leading coefficient. So in this case, we're going to start off our factorization with minus 3, but everything else in the problem will be the same. We'll still use the uh, conjugate pair theorem to say that, well, if 2 plus 3i is a 0, 2 minus 3i is a 0. And if 1 minus 4i is a 0, then 1 plus 4i must also be a 0. 
and then for each one of these factors, we will, uh, zeros rather, we will create their associated factor. It's just that minus 3 will be in front of all of it. So let's see, our p of x is going to be minus 3, the leading coefficient, and then x minus 2 plus 3i, so parentheses 2 plus 3i, then x minus 2 minus 3i, then times x minus 1 minus 4i, times x minus 1 plus 4i. And that is our polynomial. And if you were so sick and twisted as to multiply this out, you would end up with a degree 4 polynomial, because these multiplicities are all 1. So adding up the 4 multiplicities, you're going to get degree 4. Your leading coefficient will be minus 3, and your zeros will be all the zeros that are required for this polynomial.